Today, I will be demonstrating how to set up item substitutions. To start, we'll go to the items page. And we'll select the item for which we'll be setting up the substitutes. In this case, it will be our item 1972S. With the item card open, we'll go to Navigate, Item, Substitutions. And in this window, we'll set up the item substitute. The substitute type field contains two values, item and catalog item, where catalog items are for items that you do not keep in stock. For now, I'll select item. And in the substitute number field, I'll select the item that will substitute it for. 1936-S. There's also an option to make the item interchangeable. This allows us to substitute one for the other as is necessary. In the ribbon at the top, there's an option here called condition. If we select this, we can specify conditions that should be met in order to substitute for our user's reference. Comments entered here will make the item substitution entries condition field ticked. Now that we've set up our item substitution, you can look at using this in a scenario. We'll create a new sales order. And this will be for our customer, John Haddock. On the lines fast tab, I'll enter the type item and our item number 1972-S. Our customer would like to buy 10 of these shares. You'll notice as I've entered the quantity that we now have an inventory warning for 1972-S. If we select the show details, we can see how big the shortage is. And we can also see that substitutes exist for this item. Making use of the fact box on the right, if we scroll down to the sales line details, Business Central tells us exactly how many substitutes exist for this item. In this case, one. If we select this, it opens a list of all the existing item substitutes. Of course, we only see the one for the time being. And from this list, we can select our item. In doing so, we can now see that the sales lines have been updated with the new substitute item. And we can continue on with the sale. 